Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my F1 2019 career mode, episode number 93 this evening at Austria. Positive glad back here. And this is the track I always look forward to every single season. Um, my strongest performing track of all time in F1 games. Um, there's a few more that are kind of coming into that sort of list now. Belgium's starting to get up there in that sort of occasion. But now this is the point where I really, really need to crack on. Uh, this is, guys, after uh, what was almost going to be a terrible performance around France, ended up being, almost flukily, one of the best drives of my life, funnily enough. Uh, won by nearly 20 seconds over P2's Verstappen after Lance Stroll had a problem and fell all the way down to P4, managing to hold the Vettel to the end, which gets us a bit more of an advantage in the Constructors' Championship. Quickly, my 10 points. I'm 22 points up in the Drivers' Championship with Vettel out of reach at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to actually switch over to components with 0%. So that there will be that one. That'll be that one. <clears throat> I want to basically give myself the best opportunity at performing around this track. I know no matter where I finish in this one, it's going to be a pretty damn decent performance, so my components are absolutely fresh. Gearbox looking pretty good, only 29% worn after four races. Thank God for the Monaco, so we've got... Um, Hashtag pause rage, yo yo, hashtag PMS. We've got some of the PMS boys staying tuned. I will be watching WrestleMania after this. I'll be watching... <laughs> About half an hour behind everybody. What a night it is going to be. But first of all, let's start it off. Or should I say, let's continue after an absolute crackerjack of a race in F2. With some career mode. Austria. I'll have now on my own stream, guys. I've not been well today. I've been bad bound. I've had bad chest, bad breathing. Um, hands, thing, feet have been tingling. I thought I was going to have a fucking heart attack at one stage, but no, we're not. So we're all good. Let's get rolling. On to Austria. Thank you for joining us once again for today's qualifying session. Sit back, relax, and enjoy what we hope will be a fantastic contest for pole position. Yeah, you guys can all sit back and fucking relax. I've got to actually drive in the thing. With a ball cock! Ball cock! So then, Ant, it's another Grand Prix weekend, another exciting qualifying session ahead of us. What are you going to be looking out for over the next few minutes? Uh, a good lap. Who can avoid making mistakes? <laughs> there isn't much margin for error in qualifying, and you have to bear in mind that the track Britain's going to be where the season gets interesting. Practice, is that some all the all the drivers are going to get their performance back? I almost half hope that they do a full reset again, not the quality if they do back to back years. Just like that, your lap's ruined, and you've wasted a set of tyres to boot. One and done here for me. I'm just going to do. One lap on the softs, two laps on the softs, and then see what Q3 ends up being like. So we're going to go straight out now. My setup is absolutely... Hope you're sitting what? Mate. We've got a sensor issue, and we're going to be stuck here for a while. <sighs> Never easy, is it? Okay, so I guess we're going to be watching qualifying for a little bit then. All right. Pass of Charles Leclerc, who's had himself a pretty decent season, barring his actual overall standing. Charles is dominating Roman Grosjean, and he's only managed to bag one solitary point this season so far. I must say, here we go, let's go on board with Charles, as I've got myself a uh, minute 52 to wait, I guess. Um, Charles could be the only driver out on track. Former Ferrari driver moved to Team Haas as of, well... The season just gone. He swapped with, I believe, I, can't remember which, I think he's just gone to Haas outright, didn't he? Magnussen, of course, went from Haas to Ferrari, swapping with Leclerc, and then moved over with Kvyat, who replaced me from the racing point. It's been a bit of a... Like Bottas, 32 points. Grosjean just with one. Bottas had a pretty mediocre season. There's Gasly, last season's champion. Currently rocking eighth, eight points, sorry, all the way down in a terrible 13th position. Hamilton, seventh in the championship, of course. And there's Kvyat, my former, well, the guy who swapped with me. So we're going to go on board with Charles Leclerc for this whole lap. And I'm going to come out on come out on track myself. <laughs> let's have a look on the TV. Let's have a look on the TV, Bob, with the lap with the Monegasque driver, Charles Leclerc. Right, so he comes down towards turn one then. Very, very nice break in there. Just riding the curve very nicely. Ran to the outside there. Perfectly placed there from Charles. As we see him come down, flying, climbing up the hill towards the fabled turn two. I've noticed how this game doesn't recognise this as a turn, which it fucking isn't. Breaking just before the 50 metre board, slowing down very nicely. Riding the apex possibly a little bit too much there in the background. 
Um, so he manages to keep that nice and steady. Probably a couple of attempts off 15 4 is an absolutely remarkable first sector. I intend to get towards the 14s myself. 211 miles an hour. Absolutely right. These vamped up cars are incredible, by the way. Haas with big, big improvements, of course. So Charles will be looking here be tagging along potentially for a top six finish you'd imagine from Charles not actually managed to bag many of them this season a 28-1 for himself here coming around through Bollock 1 and now X in Bollock 2 as he comes down towards the second to last corner of course there is only nine fucking corners on the track as my car is about to be released from the pits I'm going to finish this lap up by Charles just to see I think we should be hitting a 103 here comfortably a 101 a 102 it's a 102.8 oh boy this is going to take some beating right okay we're going to go out and track myself now That's a lap time. We go on track now. We're going to be behind the Toro and the Mercedes. I think I'm probably going to wait till after the Ferrari comes round to really push. My car is stupidly quick, by the way, so we're gonna... Leclerc currently has P1! Surprisingly, Leclerc in P1. I don't know if that racing point's on a lap behind me. You'd imagine so, because it's not taking P1 yet. The McLarens are both out on track. One of them's got the Haas of Leclerc holding him up a little bit there. I'm actually that maybe the Haas of Grosjean, funnily enough. Yeah, it is the Haas of Grosjean holding the... McLaren up. I'm not going to complain about that one bit. As you see, Verstappen still goes first on all mate 2.4. He's going to have to be held up. Oh, that was Vettel who got held up. Sorry, wasn't it? Forgive me. Vettel got held up there by Grosjean. As you see me... I might even get a 101 here. You never know. This car is absolutely worlds apart from anything else I've ever driven. favourite track of them all. Very smooth there through that corner. Unusual for me this, but I'm barreling up towards the back of a Toro Rosso. Hope he doesn't get in the way of my lap. One tricky corner for me on that track was just there. We've managed to traverse four very nicely. That one of the Stappen at the moment. And they have made some improvements, McLaren. Oh, we bang it with the one just in front of him. This is going to be a close fight. Bombing it round to the pits. And we are just, I repeat, just P1 at the moment. 102.410. Just see what Stroll does. He's just in front of us here. Hi viewers guys, thank you very much for watching this evening, thank you for tuning in, feeling a lot better than I was earlier, so I'm up and about now, still got pains, but I think it very easily, easy have about fucking 10 beers by now, but I'm literally just sipping on the one, keeping As myself nice and calm, nice and, and cool, lap, then, racing point of Magnussen, let's see if Magnussen can get himself in the top three, so I'm going to slow into the pits, he can't, so Leclerc in the Haas is finding himself a little bit higher at the grid than he usually would, Andy working its magic, and we come f strolling back into the pits, and the Williams, I think, will be last, you'd imagine here. They are dead last in performance. Maxed out Williams is about 100 to 200 clicks down from a top car. Doris and Hulkenberg and the Torres, no driver changes, of course, between France and Austria, so we'd be probably expecting some between Hungary and Belgium. Currently in P1 as it stands. Just...
Yeah, it's just me and Verstappen, absolutely years ahead of everybody else. Vettel did get held up, though. You can see clearly in the middle sector. ETA is about 15 minutes. Giovinazzi doing very well to be on the back of Grosjean. Nice from Gio. So good stuff here. We have got ourselves in good nice bath. My tablet will be on charge before the start of the Grand Prix. Stroll all the way down in 12th as well. Stroll on the medium tyre, though. Bizarre choice of tyre, really, there. So we used to 14th, we topped the charts, which we kind of expected me and Verstappen just to run away with it. Vettel moving himself to P6, Stroll down in 14th on the mediums though, he'll be more competitive in the race. And we have Weber is out, Lucas Weber in the Ferrari, gone. That is a shock, uh, it must be said. I thought, or might you say that Ferrari, no it's not actually, between him and Gasly, yeah that's fair enough. Um, they are the eighth, they are basically where I was last season in Limbo Land. Stroll will be... Pushing for the soft tyres. I'm going to be going straight out on track here. Don't want to mess around. I want to get a nice lap in on the softs. And then it is going to dry out come the end of qualifying as well. So we may have to do a little bit of waiting. I don't really want to skip the time ahead. Because I don't want to really glitch the whole fucking thing out. But we've got ourselves watching it. Our Skilly and PTR. Bish. Aten. Welcoming guys. Thank you very much. Oh, pardon me for staying tuned this evening. Oh no. No, I went for flying lap. Oh no! Shit! And it's raining! Dry seem like the best tire for now. Okay, we've got ourselves literally a lap on the dries here. We've got to make this count. Oh dear me, I should have really gone out and done a f Oh, this is going to kill me, this is. Got to make this lap time work. Here we go, break 100 meter board. Still just about dry at the moment, we're just hanging it around. The setup I've got actually works in both conditions, so we're not going to be P1 now. Well, that's gradually and that's greatly annoyed me. I think we'll be lucky to make Q3 at this rate. But I am managing, if I don't come Q3 here, I'm going to be absolutely fucking fuming. This is the last chance I've got, really. It's the only chance I've got. It's going to be raining after this. I don't really want to use intermediate tyres. I want a 6 7. You can see the lap times are so far down currently where they would usually be. Four temps of were not purple at all. I don't expect to be. Probably just going to sneak in myself here. Butler 106 6. We're going to beat that. This happens can't beat me here. Three, four, five. Yep, half a second off, not a problem. That's our only lap in qualifying. But we have beaten Perez. Very nice. We're stopping worlds apart at the moment. The radar's showing a clear patch on its way. There's about 10 more minutes of this rain. Dry seems like the fastest tyre at the moment. But is it going to get really bad? We've beaten Vettel, so we are in the McLaren sandwich right now. Hopefully Stroll goes and puts himself a decent lap in and doesn't leave it too late. He's gone on the outside of the Mercedes there, as you've just seen coming in the exit of turn two on the mini-map. God, that could have gone really wrong. I've never done a flying lap in qualifying before, rather than just driving out. That was an interesting sight. We peel off into the pits. Stopping weirdly enough would have been quite up there. Hashtag stay calm, I tell you what, the bitch, I can't exactly fucking get hyped up for obviously my current condition, so. Will we still be P2? So 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go to about 2 minutes to go. 2.30 just to see what the delta is for the softs compared to the inters. I don't think it's going to clip before the end of the session. If it does, I'm going to be out of queue. Yeah, look at like a stroll. He's not even through. Shit. So far, our fastest lap is a 1.5.5. Hamilton just sneaks through. I 
I think I'm through. Yeah, I'm comfortably through. Here we go. No one even went out. So, Lance Stroll, P15 on the grid. Max Verstappen. Top from me by God. It's a two-horse race completely there, so... <laughs> Jesus Lord. Both qualifying have been the only ones near each other. Verstappen pulled off an absolute belter of a lap. Vettel was a bit further back down the grid order. He's going to be fuming at being classed as number two driver, but you haven't really got much of a choice, and Max is smashing it like he is. WrestleMania kickoff show is currently a go at the moment. Is it much better than the Inters? I'm going to actually be able to have myself two runs here, aren't I? Okay. I the one run will be enough, but we're going to go out for a double run. Pardon me, guys, but I've got my teammate being knocked out in Q2 for the first time this season. Intriguing. Already beaten him in terms of lap time. There is no rain now falling, but the track is still a bit greasy. That's why I will be doing two runs here. I have, of course, DNF there before in previous outings, but I know these tyres can handle heavy duty booty. So we're going to be... <laughs> yes, I just said that bite me. A bit of a pain in my left hand, but it should be alright. Okay. To overtake. Here we go then guys. Final for first lap in the final part of qualifying. Oh, Bottas, of course. Why would you fucking not do that, you prick? No, no, no. Okay. J just about got enough. I repeat, just about got enough to go again. So I don't seem to be wearing much, so... Soft to medium run here would probably be feasible. Tire where it was definitely fine, so we're going to have to pretty much bolster at the end of this lap here. Oh, I've comfortably got enough for two laps yet. Yeah. Because we're one of three seven, we should be able to belt that lap time. Let's see if I can push it to a one or two, th two maybe. If I get a perfect run, there's only one lap of fuel remaining. Oh, break too early. Way too early. Jesus Christ, that's awful. Knock me off my game. This is a pole position I want to grab, though. It's not going to be good enough for pole. I know that for a fact. I'm going to beat that time as well by the looks of it. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. <laughs> Six views, guys. Thank you for watching. Boss currently in a lot of pain right now, but I'm not using an excuse. Come on, let's get back on. Back in. Boom, boom. I'm not messing around this time. Six view, five views, guys, at the moment. Thank you for watching. We've got um, Jock, Skilly, and Pete, Bish, and Atten. Thank you very much. And also, Forever Alone, 1102. Thank you so much for watching this evening.
Last Chance Saloon. Check that pole lap. If it's not glitched, I've got a chance. Currently, the fastest lap is a one oh, give me a stretch grabbing that. Into a perfect lap for don't. Then, then that's curtains, unfortunately. Pardon me, guys. Sorry, forgive me. Every burp is helping you right now, as I am currently in a state of recovery at the moment. Hopefully that's as bad as it's going to get what it was today. But I've seen people in much worse conditions than me, so hopefully everyone's fine. Here we go. That's not a pole lap. That's not a pole lap at all. It's purple at the moment, so we'll see if I can keep that momentum going. This is looking mighty! Give me two minute flat, two minute one. Come on, you can't. Even a half fit pause, still smashing out a 2 0 one lap in Austria. Come on, you bastard. No stroll. They're in first. We don't currently have the data for that request. Um, of oh, course you <laughs> got locked out, didn't he? 15th, sorry. Uh, One second quicker than seventh place. I have a funny feeling this race is going to be just fun. I don't think we're, we're not in pole yet. We're not in pole position yet, though. A lot of work to do. If Verstappen has any issues, I need both McLarens, or at least one of the McLarens, to have an issue. But when the Alphas in P7, we're going to go and see where everybody else is compared to me. Here we go, then, folks. Straight into the pits. Come on. So we fucking do. Will we get pole? My sixth pole of the year, if it is. I either come first or last. Actually, you know what? That's a lie to you guys. It would be my fifth pole of the year. No, my fourth. Is it my fourth? Yes, it would be my fourth. Um... I believe it was first two races, Australia and Bahrain. Then it was Canada. And then, yeah, well, it's sort of three poles this year. I think that's correct. Um, oh, my God. It's just me versus Verstappen, isn't it? <laughs> Max doesn't go back out. There you go. Get in there. Come on. And Sebastian Vettel. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Get in there, man. Two horse race up top. Not as clear cut as what practice was. I was just, it was a well, me and Max were equal. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? <laughs> were those faults a bad omen for qualifying and the race? <laughs> well, thanks anyway. Well, Stroll fucked up and came 15th, so... <clears throat> Clearly, he's the number two driver. 
Even though he beat me in the fucking rivalry, thanks to Monaco and Baku. Balland. Um. Okay, we are rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. We are on course to move on to the race now around Austria. Hmm. We take a two-one in the rivalry for both Stroll and Butler. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We got the snort there. Um, so that's a lot of points here for myself. That's going to get me into the thousands. So we'll be able to upgrade durability then moving forward. Let's go and see what other durability. It is, of course, dry at the moment. You never know what's going to happen in this one. Uh, oh, we've already completed the practice program, so that's good. Mm, fucking annoying. Jaws are hitting a bit. Um, so we're going to go and upgrade the... ...new store, which is about our lean mix component. We're going to go and complete this one now. Electrical systems. Get that to level three. And, of course, we've got our ICE. That's going to be the next one we upgrade. And then just smash out the MG UKs, which help the rest of the stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go for a quick smoke. This is the current season results and the standings, um, and I'll be back with you in two minutes. Be sure to stay tuned.
Hey, Moggo, been a while. I can't actually remember when we first started playing. I can't even, didn't even see the picture of you, mate. But thank you for watching. I'm now off chat until the first pit stop. I repeat, to the first pit stop. I'm currently, my stream, my tablet's on charge, so this is going to be me. This is the world in this race, I think. Um, just managed to pit Verstappen over to Crofty and Anthony Davison. Oh, jeez. Come on. Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Heavy breathing. And just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three, and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, let's talk about Charles Leclerc. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today. Oh, they? no, Leclerc. He did so well in quali. Has forced them further down the field. Everyone has to take <laughs> penalty. Oh, pardon me. So it's myself and the McLarens, the only ones, and Stroll, the only ones really in the championship hunt. But Stroll's all the way down in 15th at the moment. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Racing point. Disappointing team so far. Many retirements for them. They've lost out on durability heavily. Lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside as we continue. Dream lap in qualifying. What a 2 1 fucking hell. Vettel, Bottas, Devon Butler, and Perez, Magnussen, Hamilton, Rojon, and Daniel Kvyat, Norris, Gasly, Nico Hulkenberg, and Leclerc. They'll be starting further back. Claire, there's his penalty, so 10 place penalty. Weber, Carlos Sainz. And Antonio Giovinazzi, Russell. So Leclerc and Stroll will be coming through the field together. Ricardo having a bad qualifying. Renault have been improving. And Giovinazzi showing it. P17 for Gio. Well, that's not important right now. What's important is me, your man, getting this win. Let's see what we got. Okay, remember to protect the one stop. On the run down to turn one. Make yourself as wide as possible. Robust, but fair. You're the boss. It's not a dodgy launch. Well, that's not the line I really wanted to take through there, in fairness, but... We're going the whole distance tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All 36 laps worth. And then next season, I think we're going to make a little bit of a treat. I might start turning this into a 100% career mode. Wait and see what the... Um, it'll take more time to complete, but... Maybe at the end we may have a little trickle of rain, but hopefully by then the race will be done and dusted. Is behind you. Take over here just before we start the pit line. Of course, to save people cheesing and going into the pits on the formation lap. This is going to be myself versus Max. I want Stroll, hopefully, to come in the top 10 in this race. We just need as many points as possible to try and stem the tide of the McLarens, who are pretty much destined for 2 and 3, barring any mistakes by me. We line up. First position. First time we've ever back-to-back... Well, there's three poles... Well, I'm not a back-to-back poles, am I, idiot? Right. The start sequence will begin as soon as the Renault the formed. Be ready with the clutch. Forming up on the grid. Here we go. What a great start. The 
Mercedes have had a bit of an issue. We hopefully take off now. McLaren will have a little bit of a ding dong before they before the snapping over to his vettel, you'd imagine. They're not they're still side by side, so yellow flag back there, don't know what's gone on. Maybe a bit of a slight bit of contact between a few cars. My job now just to take off. Verstappen does lead Vettel, so this is the race. That's not good at all. Pointless warning. Didn't need to do that. I've just got Max Verstappen. Perfect chance at DRS on me as well. Top three have escaped. The Alpha of Butler did very well actually running in P fucking four at the moment. Didn't get put off this sector in the end. Verstappen actually grabs that honour. I was about to escape DRS, but obviously my own mistake caused me to lose that right. the battle. It's been the battle for two years around this track. Number three is actually was racing point. I had a battle with Verstappen and Vettel as well, funnily enough. Oh, I'm calling it. Yep. Nice but Verstappen is on me. Okay. Me versus Max Verstappen. Here we go. I've overshot it. I've overshot it. Back on just in front of him. We'll have to go overtake here. We're going to have to hang it to the inside. Max may get me. Max may get me. I think Max is going to overtake me. Oh, he's hit me. Last of the late breakers. Late breakers. Oh, down the inside. Just parking the car in the right place. No damage, that's good. We're in medium for a bit. Wow, a bit of a dodgy lap, dodgy opening for me here. Top three have absolutely done everybody. Three horse race here. I knew it was going to mean the McLaren stroll already disposed of the Ferraris. It's good to see. Race on battle here coming up then, you'd imagine. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Tough. Not perfect cornering by me, but it's just enough to keep myself in first at the moment. To. What size is going to go to? That's the question. And some severe pressure. Just to stay ahead. Look how far ahead we are. Fourth. Jesus Christ. That's better quartering. That's better. Vettel's now all over the back of a stapping too. The race of my life is going to take it to beat these guys. 32 laps to go. Health issues aside, I'm doing really well at the moment. Just 
just opening up a slight gap to Verstappen, who pulls it back because he's running on high rear S now. Might actually stick up medium for this whole complex, actually, for a change. Oh, that's wide, and that is an awful corner. I'm going to have to slow it down. And that's brought them right back into play. Jesus Christ. The front left is wearing. A surprise. I'm surprised that's happening. That didn't happen last year. So we are susceptible now to Max. Okay. Well, look how far ahead we are, fourth. It's a top three battle here, amazing. I'm actually already coming out in front of the back markers, already, even if I have to pit from some mistake. That happens though, I'm dead last, unfortunately. Max is on me. I have to go down in fuel as well, that's a little bit annoying. I may actually be susceptible to an overtake here. This could be an interesting turn too. You thought this race was going to be easy, folks. Think again. Long way to go in this race. Really being pushed all the way. No. Don't be daft, man. Minor miracle here will get me back into this. Yes, come back in front. Drop fuel down, drop the RS down. Let's see if I can build some of that back up. Back up because he's having a move here, an unconventional place to make a move, and that's not going to get the job to Max. He's hit me. The inside of me, and he's just done me. Max has overtaken me for first. That is a shock. I didn't think that was going to happen. Great move by him. Do I hang with the McLaren? That's the question. We'll find out now. Naturally, more, much a quicker car than it, but. Obviously not under double or triple DRS. We're leading our teammate by 13.2 seconds. The staff now gets a DRS, but we managed to just pull out enough of a gap, so we're going to right back down, save a bit of DRS and other bits and bobs. And Vettel finally, finally having a go at Max. Oh, Jesus Christ. The battling is really saving me right now. Vettel could just pull through. I'm going to go miss that. It's going to be a bit of slipstream. Slip, slip Vettel's done him. Vettel's done Verstappen. This could be a key move. Back up to Rich Mix for my fuel. All right, okay. That is absolute bullshit. But we continue on. Probably cost me the win right there. Need there to be a safety car. Well, no, I don't right now. Well, I do, so I can pit in for the medium and just go to the end, but... Complete shite in terms of penalty. That's three bogus warnings. Maybe there will be a safety car right now. Look at that, there's a car off at the back. It's the Williams. It is! Has been deployed. Are you kidding me? Make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. A new strategy is 
quick. I cannot believe he just made a move then. Vettel, that would have got him in trouble. I don't think he's got to be able to last that long. We'll see. Well, Williams is somewhere off there. Um, I can't see his car. Is that far off? Well, there he is. Just sort of caught a glimpse of it there on the side. Big on the medium tyre, though. Clear as day in front of Max Verstappen. My kid. So. Lance is in for his stop. Go, go now. <laughs> that was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Give that position back. We are under safety car conditions and cannot overtake. Return the position. Damn it. Thought I nearly grabbed Norris. Okay, cool. <laughs> but Stappen has fallen out of the game here. That was just at the back of my car. Is that damage for Seb? No, it's not. Okay. I believe it's a Carl Sainz pulling out of the Grand Prix. Stroll has come into the pits and overtaken Max Verstappen. That could be a huge manoeuvre for me. It's going to stay out. They all are staying out. Interesting, they're going to the pit window, which may give me some fun later. Max Verstappen all the way at the back of the pack, but he has been overtaken by Lance Stroll. Let's have a look at the race director quick. I will be going for a quick smoke as well, guys. Actually, that's no, not smoke, it's a piss. Luckily, they've all gone to hard tyres, so... I'm taking a gamble again. Back in two seconds, guys. Here is the running order. You can see Max Verstappen on the hards. We're the only ones on mediums. Back in two.
sorted. We're here to the end. Let's go. The safety car stays one more lap. Would be ideal for my tyres. If not, we're pushed to the end. Still got nowhere in one lap of just chilling. The grid order is messed up right now. I'm going to be coming through the field like an absolute knife through butter right now. We were t nearly 15 seconds clear of fourth. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Claire behind is on the soft tyre, funnily enough, so he's going to be pitting again. I thought the McLaren was going to take the risk and do it. If the McLaren was a two-stop, that would make my job much easier, but we have now got about six tenths of a second on lap. Fuel is right to where I want it to be now. Let's see if to go on this up because we're all grouped, so let's wait and see. It is. Right, okay, we're going. The Mercedes 1-2 right now. It's been a while points. since that's happened. A far superior pace to the Toro Rosso. And of course much more to the Ferrari. And Vapor's done well to get himself in P4. Here we go. Caught out a little bit. Oh, hello. Go! It's P4, if I can make this work. Let's just chill now. Oh, Tom manages to hold the position. We're going to do a little cheeky switch back. And here we go. Oh, and Norris managed to cut back in front. I don't know, we've now got full pace. And here we go. And break nice and early into the right position. And we make the move stick. So P5. Let's go to the back of Vega. Shit, that'll follow me through. Okay. Three second penalty as well. Remember, guys, I've got to make this work all the way to the end. So... To be honest, it's just literally just keep it calm. I know when I get go away. When I'm by myself, I'll be able to make the whole th situation work much better. Control my own race. Make sure I get the three seconds on Vettel as well that I need. Oh, we're all over Vapor here. Vettel's still within reach, which is slightly and he's not Hamilton pits in, so we're gonna back off a little because Vapor is gonna go very close to the back of him. Nice little chill time for this is my chow time for the moment. Ah, uh, look at this pace compared to the Ferrari. See you there, kid. Move to P3. The car in front is Lewis Hamilton has actually been overtaken here by Bottas. Car drifted a bit left. Oh, car drifted a bit then. That was uncomfortable. Chasing down the two Mercedes teammates. One minute. Basically, Hulkenberg, of course, has pitted in. That's gonna they, them guys are out the points right now. They're not gonna score points. Whoever just pitted off that safety car, Mercedes is gonna be lucky to score as well. Handling the situation very well so far. Comes to the P1. It's just when the tyres give way at the end of the race, so we're going to be able to. And the Mercedes are going deep into the Grand Prix, so they're actually going to be. We're going to do business. Verstappen is behind the racing point. Three second penalty. Comes currently a two second gap back, is it? Two seconds exactly, yes. Half a second quicker. If you got a collision with Hamilton, really? I didn't feel anything, but I must have just nudged the back of his car. No damage. Nope. One of these Mercedes is coming to the pits, so I'm going to have to be careful. What? Minutes. 
that was not on the agenda. That was not on the agenda. Ready to get motoring here. Rain incoming. Fucking rain. Who was that? Who's just tuned in? It is Alan. Much love, brother. Rain incoming, so I've got to get make my move now. 3.5 of a battle, okay. Insanely benefit me then with the rain coming, being on these tyres. Like I said, Leclerc will be really fancying his chances right now, and he's keeping. Leclerc, who is on a two stop, is keeping Vettel. He's, Leclerc's just overtaken Vettel. That is. It's not going to make a difference in the actual end up, overall end up outcome, should we say, getting the words out. Oh, as if Verstappen's just overtaken the fucking Ferrari, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a bit wide there. We'll correct that. Fantastic. Around we go. Here we go. Boom. And we are comfortably leading the race. What's happened? Ferrari is in trouble. Ferrari is out of the Grand Prix. Whoever that is, I think that's Gasly, is it? It's Weber. Weber's gone. No safety car here, is there? Nope. Ten views, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. We've hit double figures in fucking so many career modes now. I think every episode this season has been double figures. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Man's not been well today, but I'm looking to keep this form going. Cleared it. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. We don't need that. We don't need another warning. We, oh, fucking hell. Two more warnings. I've got six seconds of penalties with rain imminent. Wasn't scheduled on the forecast, but then, of course, forecasts are never accurate. Claire is absolutely bolting around here. He's catching me. He does have to pit again, which is unfortunate, really. 4.1 to him, and he's a second clear of Vettel. <coughs> Look like of Vettel and Verstappen both. Battling also here watching is Benny. Hey, Benny. <laughs> Welcome, brother. I miss you there, mate. Benny, there is all RF1 are in a new era, mate. If you fancy any racing, just hit me up on Facebook. I am not in the slightest bothered about... Leclerc at all. His tires are going to die off before he gets near me, so that's not an issue. Two cars dropped. That is a signs of Weber. Nobody from the front pack out of the Grand Prix yet. Even after a safety car, come on, P8. That's ridiculous. Man's absolutely flying at the moment, but I need to keep it going. Key fact is I'm over six ahead of Vettel, so we need to get... I probably need about 12 seconds on him before the rain comes, because I'm shite in the rain. Especially with this car. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Three tenths a lap. Mm-hmm. I was just about to say three tenths a lap. Never before has somebody won seven Grand Prix and only be like 20 points in front. I was so shit in the other three that I'm one. Never two that I'm one. Who was just like, I, I just decided to get retarded. And the other one, of course, was Monaco. Which I thought I did quite well around until I binned it on lap seven. From the last a mile, about, mile down after two pit stops. But yeah, I did better than you usually do. My consistency this season outside of street circuits has been nothing short of remarkable. Now it's 10 to 15. Let's push it. Look, Vettel is dropping back at a rate of knots. I'm going to push a little bit. Oi, oi, oi. WrestleMania is on. I'll be watching that probably tomorrow. What's wrong with Vettel? Why is he, why is he three seconds behind Leclerc now? Ring. I'm going to see if I can back a cheeky fastest lap here. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 1 minute 4.9. 
bash that lap in. I love another clean sweep, I've got a few of them. Oh, I felt that. Jesus. This is looking good. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. full advantage of this guy as we are considerably far behind right now while well, we're clear but <laughs> I don't know I've got two penalties and he's going to rain oh fuck's sake oh but wait till the next street check um, weather ah oh, fuck it we'll do it here. I hope it doesn't land by the time it lands I'm going to be years ahead anyway so it's fine Inspired decision to go on the mediums rather than the hards. If it was hards, I'd be susceptible to Vettel. Leclerc will be pitting soon. Stroll's doing mighty well to keep himself in P4. Good stuff by Lance. And the points advantage over the McLarens, which is I didn't expect, honestly. Stappen's double stack really ruined him. Because in the pits, with the route. Okay, so we're about 11 7, so we've got 5 second advantage now over. We need to keep the advantage up, though. I really wanted to, I could be a prick and pit, but <laughs> I don't really want to. In fact, I've got no fresh softs. If I had fresh softs, I'd probably dump it in the pits at some point, but. The problem is they just overheat, which is why I was having problems with Verstappen and Vettel before. Vettel's getting hauled in. I think you might have some problems. He's falling back at a rate of knots. One six point really? I do a one five one. Five seconds a lap. Good. Fucking penalties don't really make much difference, do they? When's the rain? rain oh my god, if it rains, though. <sighs> Please don't fucking rain on me, I beg. The grass, that was a bit of a weird one. Took a bit of a dodgy line through there. Bastard slap is so easy to grab, but I just keep making the odd mistake here and there. Best lap I must have had probably the greatest sector two of all time. That's absolutely so brilliant. How have I not known that? Down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Well, it's me versus Max then. Vettel's car is fucked. I knew it would be. I knew there was something wrong. And he's holding Max up now, which is key for me. Poor Max Verstappen. Poor sorry, poor Seb Vettel. But good for Lance Stroll. If he can just manage to catch up with Vettel before his car gets better, we might be able to bag a 1-3 here. Max losing time all the time. We just keep it a medium ERS for about four or five laps. Rain is. Shit. I know what I'm doing. No, I'm on front. I might as well keep it the same wings. I've got the actual control of the car to deal with it. We have them two penalties stacking up, so I've got to keep this advantage building. Yeah, a few steps quicker a sector. I 
Leclerc and I imagine he's going to be hauling ass here. I think Leclerc is actually in P8 still. Let's have a look at the race director. Fuck, he is as well. Jesus, go Leclerc. Um, Grosjean in P12, yeah. Russell 14th. That's kind of impressive. Hulkenberg's had a mare though, which is why. I'm not going to have a smoke, guys. I'm just going to keep going. Mate, Russell being ahead of the Ferrari of Gasly. That's a season high for Russell right now. Incidents, we've got a couple of... Yeah, Kvyat and Giovinazzi having an incident together. Kvyat currently racing in P... Where's Kvyat? 11. I'm back rolling. Okay. Literally on chill time right now. I'm eight seconds clear. After the penalty, he's got lap cars in front of me though, so I got to move on my toes. A couple of attempts again on Verstappen. It's, just, it's about six, seven tenths. We're exactly the same pace. Great foil for a championship battle as Max Verstappen. Shit about the penalties, but here's what it is. So. Vettel is falling. Oh, Strolls been overtaken by the fucking racing point. They need some good results at Racing Point here. They've been tragic this season. A whole sector ahead. Both Renaults still running. That's 16th and 17th for them. Toro Rosso is an absolutely shite. <laughs> they went in fucking races last year. Season 3 and 4, Butler was grabbing race wins. Gap though to Verstappen, which is good. I might need to start pushing. If I can start pushing now, actually. Why does it have to fucking rain? It wasn't even scheduled to rain on the forecast. Like for fucking real, man. Hope I don't fuck up. I hope I don't fuck up. Need the rain to come about 31. That'll give me a bit of time. I can lo then lose a second on lap to Max, which I don't mind doing. As long as I've got the gap to fall back on, so get some pushing time on the... On the sauce where we got it, the Renault's are kicking each other's cunt in right now. That was a bit of a late dive there by Gio, I think it was on Ricardo. Come on, come on. Let's hopefully all these cunts get out of the way. Be nice. I'm now pushing. to these guys in the worst possible place. Going through the bollock corners. Hulkenberg is flying, but it's not the time to fly, Hulkenberg. You need to get out of the way, mate. You've had two blue flags on you already. That's the third. We're expecting some rain soon. Expect the first drops in the next few minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? What are you... No... I know they had to get out of the way, but still, wait till the next one. The penalty so what you've done, fucking 17th, you fucking inbred. Alright, okay. What's this here? That is very true. Can I still come up the track limits in the chat? That's that a very, very good point. Um, I've got a really motor now because I've dropped about a second there. Every second with this real oh, fucking I'll drop two seconds to max. Come on, get moving. Another yellow flag. Who's that gone? That's a racing point. That's Perez. I think that's Perez. He was fourth. Magnuson, don't no safety car, please. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking serious? It seems they fixed whatever the problem was. Oh, Vettel speeds up. Okay, slow down, slow really? Down. Are you fucking for real? We've got cars between us, right? Okay, that could be helpful. 
Don't rain. Don't fucking rain. Black markers between us, which is going to be, which is vital right now. Oh, Magnuson, you fucking! We're coming up to the safety car now. Do not pass it. You are the leader. Follow the safety car. Well, my win is gone. Quite frankly, um, <sighs> it's all my own fault with the corner cutting. All my own fault. A couple of them are dodgy, but... On very, very, very used hards. I am going to have to fucking fly. Well, we're going to be going to like 31, so I'm tempted to come put the Inters on, to be fair. If it prompts me to. You know, I'd probably go to pit for softs. But I don't want to. I'll be okay. I think the race win is gone here. Giovinazzi survives. He's P15 guaranteed. We've lost three drivers in this race. People have not been changing their components correctly. <sighs> this race is about to get from bad to worse, maybe. And the car, we're going to need to absolutely bolt it round here. Am I going to be able to put six seconds on these guys? That is the question. Let's put a second all up. Come on, just go. We, we don't need to have three laps. Just go. Let me go now. I need to go this lap or else my race is done. There's a McLaren one too, by the looks of it as well. <laughs> Another Austrian Grand Prix I win with penalties. I'm gonna need to have the drive of my fucking life. Safety car, what are you still doing out? Let's go. So let us race, man. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. My tyre advantage is gone, which is fucking awful. <sighs> Come on, please, just let us race. If I could race that lap. Look, he's caught up. He's fucking caught up. It would have slowed us down. Fucking Giovinazzi again costing me. Absolutely awful. Funnily enough, I was actually battling Hulkenberg in that position where he is right now a couple of seasons ago, so quite ironic, but six seconds of penalties will cost me. Shut up. I'm done and I might not even get points here. I'll have the race pretty much start to finish. And just the way it's progressed, unfortunately. Got everything right. I'm going to have to fucking shoot off here because I've got about two more laps of dry weather.
Whoa, Jesus Christ. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Come on, let's go. It's like rain is gonna be with us for a while now. Dry seem like the best tire for now. Quarter five laps. Five laps worth. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. Not enough. Still dry. Brilliant. Come on, Seb, do me a fucking solid, mate. Battle him. Verstappen. That's why am I not pulling away from Verstappen? No fucking hard tyres, man. Come on, Vettel, get your fucking arse into game. We battle him. I need them two to battle for me to win this race. He's not within the vicinity of him. Not pulling away far enough, but let's have a look at teammate. Okay, that's podium. This is the one I want, but I think I'm going to get it. My clouds are just too good. Biggest chance ever at a title. Long way to go yet, though. Probably going far. Oh, Verstappen's going very slow compared to me that time. That should be a few temps gain there. Whatever. No okay. care. Come on. Save me. Vettel's about to save me. If he can get DRS on Max up this straight, I have a chance. If not, it's over. He didn't. Okay. Vettel, though, is fucking hell. I'm not going to get him. I'm already third. So, Will isn't over in that case, but... Can't push entirely as well. We just, uh, why can't you just let me finish the race, man? Come on. Fucking safety car. Where the fuck McLaren has gone? Drop back a little bit. Drop back a little bit. That's three seconds. So three to gain in two laps. Could be done, I guess. 2.8. Beating Lance, we gotta beat Perez, or that's my target. I want P3. McLaren are about to leave us in the constructors, but Vettel's not battling him, which is so annoying. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Ah, oh, frustrating end to the career, my race goes. I'm gonna need Max to fuck off or something, or Vettel to just charge at him in the last lap. Sort of keeping in company, which is good to see, but nowhere near enough what I need. I only put three seconds out on these cunts in the last lap. Do it five. It's possible. Need Come on, Vettel, get with him, come on! You need to fight him into this corner. Ah, oh, that's one too, McLaren. Come on, Vettel, come on, Vettel. DRS him, come on. DRS the cunt. Trying everything I can to fucking pull away, but it's not gonna work. Wait a minute. Oh my god, they're battling. They're battling. They're battling. 
Come on, Yukon. Fucking prick. Fuck off. Come on. Sorry, he's done last. I don't care about that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, get fucking moving, you prick. That's a big gap. That's a big gap back now. Come on. Oh, they're not battling now. Okay. No worries. Got to sneak P2, actually. That's a big ass gap back. Five seconds, I'm guessing. No. Ah, oh, penalties. Fucking game with penalties, man. One wheel over the curb. Warning this, warning that. Fuck off. Racing pretty much dead as well. P3. Joke. Brilliant, brilliant job, mate. That's a fantastic podium. Super driving, really strong pace. Very, very happy. Does this kind of one stabbing? McLaren have pulled it off. They've won in. <sighs> they pulled the fuck all off, man. Fucking joke. Oh, of course, the Max wins with the fastest lap as well. Of course, not bad. There's no way. This is GG good effort, but it's not. Championship's back open again. That was mine all over. And I'm more annoyed that I pretty much suffering from Corona symptoms. And I've done this race for fuck all practically. Needed to win Austria. The one race I needed to win and fucking blew it. Well I guess Max has to win something, doesn't he? So How am I gonna beat this team? That's my that was my one golden nugget. I was one point. You know, one point six. I was one point six off on it. If I stay dry with fucking safety cars everywhere, Stroll did a good result, but it's nowhere near enough. Like qualifying fifteenth is absolutely atrocious. But it's not by Leclerc, by the way. Crucial was to still fall out the points. One of the absolute hero he is. We wrap up another weekend of motorsport, but with more races lined up, here's sure the standings, guys. Eleven points. With more Formula One. Utterly disappointed, but can't even see the comments. My fucking tablet's died, so <sighs> man, come on, seriously. Should have been better than that, but happy with the podium again. Run Austria again. Well, it's my first podium on Austria, isn't it? Second. Ironically, behind the two McLarens, who I fell behind from penalties again. <laughs> Did you feel comfortable in the wet weather today? Hmm. Great. Well, that's everything. Well, yeah, woohoo! Way! I won that race, cunt. Fucking stupid. I win more races than anyone else in the championship by double, and I'm fucking only nine, 11 points in front. So inconsistent. I'm sacking off fucking qualifying in Singapore. <laughs> when I get there, fucking hell. Start last, work on it. Medium hards, all the way. But Britain next. Medium, soft medium. More annoying than anything else, to be fair, that I'm not. Twenty-eight points clear rather than eleven. But Oh uh, man. That's a great result. You did really well. But it's not a great result, man. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Anybody who hasn't followed, be sure to do so. Um still a really, really solid drive dominant drive but just too many penalties like I could probably run regular corner cutting because I don't corner cut generally anyway I might look at doing that actually because I you know I don't slice through corners like a noob I just run over the curb maybe regular will sort that out anyway guys thank you very much for watching this has been your man positive be glad hopefully I stay well um, beyond this point and you'll be able to see much more of me but anyway for now bye for now